Hey, what's up guys? This is Henry from SoCal Solar Panel Clean and today we are out here in Redlands and I'm going to show you the job that we are So we are doing 36 solar panels on a garage. So basically we're going to be able to uh, get these from the ground and we're going to be working from the ground. So I got Rick here. Uh, along with one of our new subscribers Ray so we're gonna go ahead and introduce you to them or to Ray anyway so let's go ahead and flip and we are getting set up oh let me flip this around here we go we got uh, Rick over here and then we have Ray Ray what's up there Ray hey guys uh, Good morning. what's your last name Ray Ray Marino Marino yes. okay and where are you from uh, Marino Valley. Marino Valley. Nice. Yes, my Valley. He owns the city. That's, That's it. Right. There you go. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go uh, here and show you the setup. So this is the first time that you're seeing this, uh, Ray? Absolutely. All right. So what we want to do is we want to basically show you guys the whole setup and how Rick sets this up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, Rick, you want to take over? explain to uh, the What's sub up, guys go ahead uh, we showed this before so we're going to go over it again just in case of those who have missed it we're going to make it very quick and simple this is our baby right here that's the solitech c1000 and it has two directions it's where it can spin one is if you're on the roof it can spin towards you so it's easy to pull the brush back you have your directional arrows here which will let you know which way the brush is gonna spin once it starts rotating. Since we're gonna be on the ground, we don't want it to spin away from us. We want it to spin towards us. So I'm gonna flip this baby around like this. The setup is very easy. Here's our gooseneck. Got it's, it. It's foolproof. So basically right here, he's looking at the arrows the arrows right here and this arrow is basically saying that the brush is going to be rotating forward like this if it's rotating forward like this water is going to be splashing back this way exactly okay so we're going to get that connection is very easy you connect it you screw it on easy as pie all right this is our splash guard because you don't want to get soaked while you're doing it snaps on just like that done awesome the only thing left is to get up is our pole oh we're gonna get up and we're gonna get out there you go all right so ray do you want to you want to grab that for for uh rick there put it right here on on the bench just like that perfect help him out when he's this is our telescopic pole it extends and retracts up to what 40 feet 40 feet and the connection once again it's simple foolproof put this baby in and it'll seat itself and you'll feel it make sure that's nice and tight and as you can see even for the first time a rookie can wait, wait, wait 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 hold on one second stay exactly where you're at right there perfect do you see this, guys? Do you see that right there? <laughs> He's about to get this dirty today. <laughs> That's okay, man. man. That's okay. Let's get this going. He's a baller, and he's going to get this dirty. So, absolutely. This completes your solar tech hookup. The only thing left is to hook up the wire to the pressure hose. Gotcha. And then we also have... Um, uh, we have a shutoff valve uh, for that also. Uh, yeah, we do. I think it's, uh, it might be in one of, uh, it's in here somewhere. But we're going to hook this up right here directly from here, okay, uh, to the back end of this. So this will connect to that. Everything we use is quick connect quick disconnect pull back pop in easy as pie and this is 300 feet of hose 
So we have 300 feet of hose and for uh, and we have this set up here guys. For those of you who have been asking about our setup, this is our setup right here. We have a Honda engine on there with a Viper pump. And the Viper pump, we're able to adjust the pressure from right here goes uh into the di tanks as a matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and put this video on hold because uh we need to switch these tanks out and we're going to show you how we do that okay so we have two tanks here we're using this one right here we're basically going to switch it over to this one and we're going to show you guys how we switch the tanks out because that's something that we haven't done on our videos yet and uh let's go ahead and get started with that so stay tuned we'll be right back all right guys we are back and right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ro uh, we're gonna rotate these um tanks right here this one is already spent probably uh is all used up so we're gonna rotate it from this to this so we have to loosen up uh some of valves over here and just show you our setup so we have a uh 700, 700 gallon tank or 700 uh gallon tank that we use basically burns 700 gallons this will fill up this tank right here which is a hundred gallons seven times before we change each tank out now to make things a little easier um rick's going to show you how we basically switch that out raise here on the other side and it's going to help him out i'm going to get out of their way and uh handle that so when you get time uh, we go ahead and explain that let me jump over to the other side we all right guys uh this is what we call exchanging of the guards or exchanging our di tanks uh what you want to do is before you move the tanks we're going to swap these tanks around but you want to unscrew your connections to make sure we don't damage anything you have two one on this side and one on this side and ray's going to take care of this one that's the input that is coming from the customer's faucet. That, that's the input. That's the uh, tap water, so to speak. That goes into the that tank goes itself. into the tank itself, exactly. And this one coming out is coming down into this tank here. Exactly. Pure deionized water. Having fun yet? Having fun. Having a great time. There we go. All right. All of our connections are loose. And all we have to do is exchange the guards. So they're basically just gonna rotate the old one out, put the new one right back in its place, and then secure it. Once it's secured, they're gonna go ahead and strap it right back on. You have an input and an output on these tanks. And these tanks you can rent out um, AM pressure washing. Let me give you the guys number here am pressure washing 951-440-9063 lake elsinore ask for mark he will set you up with these rentals that's what we're doing is we're renting these tanks out it's way cheaper than purchasing uh these and refilling them with resin they kind of do that for us and uh i think he said that he pretty much could work from Florida all the way down to California as far as these tanks are concerned as uh, getting them to you. Getting them delivered to you and uh, then picking them up. It does have a service for that. So uh, once again, if you guys need these, go ahead and hit up Mark at AM Pressure Washing. There's the phone number right there and give him a call. Let them know Henry and Rick sent you from YouTube. And, uh, and guys, there's your DI problem. These tanks are foolproof. If you get confused, just tip it over a little bit and it's marked on the top of the cylinder, out and in. Gotcha. So you got your input, you got your output. Very So simple. that way, everything will get hooked up exactly the way it's supposed to. And these turn turn up and down so you can make that adjustment once they're in place and all set up exactly all right well, let's go ahead and hook it up don't forget to take your caps off all right so now they are hooking up the di tanks 
uh, getting that all set up. Ray's doing the input on that. You could turn these things a little bit to get them into better position. So you won't damage them. Bring that up a little bit, Ray, so you can you can tighten that up a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Told you he's gonna get his watch dirty. It's all good. <laughs> There we go. That should be on pretty good. Easy as pie. That's what they tell me. Hey guys, and I have absolutely no experience ever doing anything like this. I just started watching these gentlemen last week. I watch them from the moment I wake up until the moment I go to bed. I lost my job after five years. Been praying for something. Came across these guys on, on YouTube. Nice. I've watched every video. I don't care if it's over an hour long. And I called them up, asked them if I can uh, come down with them. They were nice enough to let me come down. And here I am. And man, I'm loving every minute of it. Nice. So thank you guys. I appreciate thank it. You, well, you know, we, can, we try to do as much as we can for our subscribers and uh, try to help them out the best we can and you know unfortunately you lost your job but you know what you can bounce right back get yourself another one and uh that's right no i want this you get your you get your own business and, yeah. and get set up uh you know fairly easy this is what i want to do so awesome all right so rick's finishing up on his end right there getting that all done he's going to go ahead and straighten that tank out there we go. Get no all the kinks. kinks out. No problems. Perfect. And then all they have to do now is just button it up, tighten it up, and secure it. And that's it. We're going to save that for another video. And uh, we're going to get started with this. So now what we're going to do is we are going to fill this tank up right here. So we're going to use new deionized water. And... Um, Ray, do you see the end of that hose? There should be a hose right there. The end of that, we take the end of that hose right there and we will take it over here. Uh, just go ahead and pull as much as you can out into the customer's So we're gonna basically hook this up to a customer's uh, tap right here and get that done. All right, so we'll get this done, and then before we do that, we're going to check the hardness of the water and find out how hard this water is. We'll be right, right. back. So we got uh, Ray here, and he's going to check the hardness on this uh, here. So we're going to hit that power on there. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. So we have zeros here. Now we're going to uh, just take a little bit of water. There's a cap right underneath. Right underneath is the cap. Take that out and fill that up and let's see how hard the customer's water is here so go ahead and put that in all right and we're gonna face it this way so i can see it just a little bit better all right let me get it out towards the sun sorry let me get out towards the sun guys so we can we can see this a little better here we go Uh, it looks like it is at 132. 132. Very good. Uh, very, very good as far as the water um, hardness. You betcha. Uh, on this one. Normally, they're roughly around 400 to 500 parts yep. per million. And this one's at 132, so it's going to make things a lot easier for our tanks when we fill this up. So here is the end of the hose right here. So we're going to go ahead and connect that uh, end of the hose here to the water, uh, water source. Turn it on, and once we turn it on, basically it all comes here. And then it goes directly into the tank uh, itself. And this tank will start filling up. And uh, from there, it goes right here. And that's it, pretty much. So that's pretty much it, guys, for this. Wanted to do this short video. 
we are going to get started on we're going to get started on this right here and start cleaning these panels and making sure these panels look very nice so we will show you before and after on these panels and uh, uh we're, we're actually going to get ray up here working this brush from the ground all right guys all right rick is passing the torch for the solitech c1000 and ray has a little bit more room back here to maneuver with that brush okay you want to extend that out just a little bit further the the pole rick for him right there's good so he's gonna extend that out walk your part back there uh, when you get a chance Ray when he when he extends it out uh, extend that out right there where your hand is careful yeah there you go all right perfect now now you got plenty of room You're good? Yeah, it's a lot better now. Right? Got more room to work. There we go. Oh, there. Go ahead and slide it to the right. Slide it. There you go. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Get the whole panel. Right there. Now bring it down nice and slow. Take it back up. Keep going. Right there. Back down. Okay, there you go. Now come on down. Woo, much better. Much better. Now it's on the shoulder now. Right there. Right there. That's perfect. Take it back up. Right at this, right there. Now back up. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, never want to move it on the edge. Right, exactly. Take it all the way back up. Remember, all this water is coming down, okay? All the dirty water is coming down. Slide it to your right. Now down. There you go. Remember, you got to keep that brush, the brush head right there. Yes. Keep that brush head more towards right there, okay? Yes. Right there. That's perfect. Keep going. Right there. It's perfect. Light it over to your right. There you go. Go up just a little bit. Okay, right there. Now come back down. Perfect. Go back up. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. This is your first time, so nice and slow. All right, back down. As you can see, the solar tech is doing its job. Now, maybe about an inch from that corner. Right there, perfect. We can always get that a little later. And you can see the other side, how dirty it is on the other side right there too. Okay, back up. Perfect. You're almost done with this. Yes, sir. Nice and smooth, right? Absolutely. Okay, back up. A little bit more. Perfect. Right there. Bring it back down. All the way down.
All right, now go ahead back up. Remember, Rick's gonna get that with a water fed. He's gonna get the corners and stuff. And... Did you turn the water corners? Yeah, I did. I, I got it off right now. So Rick's gonna cover some of this other stuff right here and get that taken care of. All right. Hey, Rick. Rick, go ahead and cut the engine. Cut the engine. So he's gonna cut the engine. He's just gonna go back up on this. There you go, back down. Just let, just perfect. That's a perfect motion right there. Go back up, up. There you go, go ahead, switch to the next panel. Back down. Gotta hurry up, because Rick's gonna turn that up, turn that off. There you go, okay, perfect. All right, he's all done, he's all done. Hang tight, guys. See you guys. Uh, we're back. Uh, we went ahead and cleaned most of the panels here with um, the Solatec C1000, except for like the corner right over here and the right up on top. You want to be really careful. We got our man Ray getting this pretty yellow watch dirty. First time too. Look at that. He's out here first time using a water-fed hole for the very first time and he had an opportunity to use the Solitech C1000. Now, here comes the million dollar question, Ray. Yes, sir. While you're doing this work. Yes, sir. Which one would you rather have? Oh, man, I'll take a second out on a house to get the Solitech. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. It is a lot of work when you're out here busting your butt trying to get these panels clean and I think we had what 36 panels to clean on this one right here. Yep. So I wanted to show you guys this just so you can see the difference between a water fed, which we haven't really done on our videos yet, but we have a subscriber. So we, we, we know that we are going to um, get his opinion instead of our opinion. So you guys can pretty much have an idea. Guarantee you he's gonna be sweating in about a half an hour just doing 36 of these panels. Like three minutes. You know. So doing it actually he's doing a really, really good job up here. Thanks, and you can see where you kind of miss. There you go. Let's zoom in on this. I think I can zoom in. Oh yes. Beautiful. Like he did this before. Uh, the number one thing is giving the customers what they pay for. That's right. Model of my life. <laughs> there Put you myself go. in their position. If I pay somebody to do a job, I don't mind paying them as long as the job is getting done right. So he's got to do all this right here, this whole little section right here. Get all this done. We're doing the top of there. I wanted to show him uh, pretty much... Um, the difference between using a water-fed pole and a Solitec C1000. Now, see these wires right here? If these were electrical wires, you got to be really, really careful with them. These are not. These are just uh, wire strands that he used for his, for his lights. So we're not concerned about that. But be really careful, guys, when you are using a water-fed pole like this and there's electrical wires uh, hanging around everywhere. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, you guys getting electrocuted or what have you. So be always be aware of your surroundings. Make sure you have no electrical wires, you know, nearby when you're, when you're handling a uh, brush like this. And here's a second thing, too is always make sure you are wearing gloves when you are handling a fiberglass pole. Uh, that's another safety precaution to go out there and just do. Uh, that way you don't get electrocuted. Um, and it's always good to have that. It's common practice uh, and people don't think about it. But we have a beautiful day here in Southern California. So um, anyways, we will... Uh, Catch you guys in a little bit. We're gonna get out before I go. 
Cause I'm laughing and feeling it Touch me and being it See what I see in it I'm typical Messing around with it Mix it up, go with it Fuck with it, flow with it Let it all go Oh Lord, think you know what I'm like But you don't fall You lose control Bittersweet Melody When I dance 